Hi there, Tina here from Midlife Fabulous and today we're in the DIY department and I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a beautiful vertical garden in your own home. Now the first thing you'll need is of course your palette. I got this one free from my local Facebook page so have a look around on your Facebook page, you might be in luck. You can get them from building sites, from shops, just ask, someone will have one free. Then I've popped a little cement pole underneath for security. We've painted it a nice chocolate colour. And then I'm going to get husband to secure it to the wall with some screws just so it doesn't fall forward when we've popped all our beautiful plants in there. So I've gone to Bunnings and got myself some of these terracotta pots. These are the 17 centimetre ones, they're $1 and these ones fit in nicely with the palette. So I've just got a nice pink love pink so I'm just going to give it a, a one coat of pink paint to make it pop with the chocolate that hubby painted. Helping mama you fluff, just don't come too close because I don't want a pink dog, you're a boy. Oh is that right, you don't want to be a girl? I'm going to paint the bottom half, rest it down, and then I'm going to paint the top so I don't get fingerprints in it. Yeah. Alright, so I've let the bottom of those dry, now I'm going to just do the top, paint around the lip, around the top, and then I'm just going to do just on the inside, that's because when the soil goes down, so it's pretty pink inside as well. Oh good, I'm only going to do one coat, doesn't need to be perfect. succulents for quite some time so now today I'm going to go through I've gone through my garden and I've plucked out the ones that I want to use and I'm ready to fill my pots and get planting the first thing that I've got though is because these pots have holes in the bottom just got um, some road base or pebbles rocks whatever you want and I'm going to put those just over there because we haven't got a plate under these when we're putting them in the pallet and I'm just going to pop that in to fill the hole and then cover that with the soil to keep the water in a bit better and the soil in. You're gonna help my lady fluff. You're a good helper, sweetheart. Oh, please don't sit on my herbs, on my succulents, darling. Look, you've got your bottom on my succulents. Don't wait if you've got a dog. Thank you, darling. Now I'm just gonna fill each pot with soil. Probably just about three quarters before I pop the succulents in. Now I've gone and got myself a range of different succulents, some tall, some shorter, some fatter, just to give different depth perspectives in the palette when it's up on the wall. planting them all I'm just going to give them a good hit with the hose let the water soak in for a day and then tomorrow I'm going to pop them into the pallet okay now to brighten this up a little bit what I've done is I've had a mirror in the garage and lucky for me it fits perfectly in so I love when I can upcycle products that I've got just lying around and I can reuse them and that's going to make me look like I've got more flowers more succulents because it's going to give a double reflection and then the last thing I've done is I've just hammered in a couple of nails into my fence and I'm just hanging some fairy lights on here that's going to make it look really pretty in the night time the 
magic starts. I'm going to pop them into my palette here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the high ones on the top. And the reason I'm doing that is because this is set outside our lounge room window. So it looks pretty when we're sitting in the lounge room. And the ones that you can see the most is this part. So I want the, the taller ones to grow at the top and then the lesser ones at the bottom. So I'm going to put the tall ones in first. really excited. Morning. Oh, morning. Our neighbour's watching what we're doing. <laughs> How are you, Rocky? All right. Uh, it's good. And then these parts were only a dollar from um, Bunnings. You think that's too tall there, sweetheart? That's good. No, that's fine. Good. My neighbour thinks he's my sweetheart. <laughs> See, it's good to have nice neighbours. We have a good chat with them. <laughs> Say hi, Rocky, to you too. <laughs> we do have a little good community here, and I hope that you have a good community where you live because a lot of these um, succulents and plants that I've got here, we trade on our local Facebook page. So if you're not on a Facebook page, jump on your local Facebook page and we swap out plants, which, you know, is a really good idea to do, saves us money and they look pretty, you get different ones. And that's it. I'm happy with that. That's going to look beautiful of a night with the fairy lights behind it. I'm just going to give it a quick hit with the hose now and then I'll show you what it looks like tonight when it's dark. And that is my succulent vertical garden. So I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed making it and I love how pretty it looks. So if you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up. I'd love if you could hit the subscribe button and follow me. And if you've made one as well, please pop it in the comments below and let me know what succulents you used.